Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. I'm going to answer a question that uh, folks email me almost daily. How much sand do you put into the cement? Whether or not you're doing a block wall, brick wall, wood lath, it's generally, as a rule, three to one. What does three to one mean? That means, say, this is a 94 pound bag of cement plaster, but say for the sake of argument, it's 100 pounds. That means you mix 300 pounds of sand with every 100 pounds of cement plaster. So you got a bucket full of cement plaster. You mix three buckets of sand with water with that to make a good consistency. Say you have a wheelbarrow full of cement plaster, the cement. You need three wheelbarrows of sand to make what we consider a good consistency for plastering. That's for the scratch coat. For the brown coat, you can go three to four to one if you like. How does that um, relate to shovelfuls? Well, I'll tell you. When I was union, or actually this was before I was union, I was working for old Sam Hoff in 79, 78. Anyway, he would say, Kirk, give me uh, 15 to 24 shovels in the scratch coat. And what that means is, say, there's a shovel full, guys, full heaping round. I remember some days it'd be at the end of the day and I'd be tired and I'd be putting them this and I got caught one day and Sam came over and said, boy, what you call yourself doing? I said, I don't know, boss, I'm just mixing. He says, well, if you're going to do that, put 40 of those. And the idea of what he was saying was full heaping shovelfuls, 15 to 24 as a rule. But if you're like my brother, Lou, Lou's a big, big strong guy. Now he'll use a scoop. Now with a scoop, you'll use 12. It just makes common sense because this scoop is pretty big. That means, again, that's one right there, one. That goes in the mixer. And what we do is we generally mix the, um, I like to use the all-purpose plastering cement, and it's a premium. What does that mean? That means it's a combination of plastic and common. Common is used for strength. Plastic is for durability, so you can spread it. If you're at the neighborhood chain stores, I believe they have type one and two, uh, which means plastic and common combined. Anyway, guys, that's, that's the three to one ratio that works for almost everything. Brown coats, again, you can go three to four if you want. Uh, sand, a little extra for it. And if you're doing ceilings or soffits, what I do is I'll say mix two to one. That way it's stickier and it doesn't fall all over us because of gravity. Anyhow, um, I hope that explains the question of how much sand. It doesn't matter if it's block, brick, skim coats, or what. Three to one as a rule. For basic plastering guys, there it is. Three to one as a rule. Anyway, my name is Kirk. Jason on the camera. We thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.